So we have question number 11 here for the WASI 2024 call math paper 2. In the diagram, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral line segment BC and AC are, and AD are produced to E. Angle ABC is 2T, angle CEF is 5T, and angle DCE is 51 degrees. Find the value of T. Since ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, the angle here and this one will add up to 180 degrees. So this will be 180 minus 2T. The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. Then the angle here, since they are angles on straight line, the 5T and this one, so this angle will be 180 minus 5T. So we use the exterior angle theorem. When we add the two remote interior angles, it should be equal to this, this exterior angle, 180 minus 2T is equal to 180 minus 5t plus the 51 so 180 is will subtract to give 0 we have negative 2t then plus 5t will be equal to 51 so we have 3t is equal to 51 we divide 51 by 3 we obtain 17 so we get t equal 17 so if t is 17 angle adc is equal to adc this angle is equal to 180 minus 2t so that will be 180 minus 2 times 17 which will be equal to 180 minus 34 and that will give us 146 degrees 146 degrees that is the value of angle ADC at the B part the graph of the relation y equal x squared plus ax plus b where a and b are constants cuts the x axis at 3 and the y axis at 6 find the values of a and b then we'll use the values of a and b to solve the equation x squared plus ax plus b equals 0 so we have y equal x squared plus ax plus b. So y it cut x as is y equals 0 and x equal 3. So that will give us 0 equal 3 squared plus a times 3 plus b so we get 0 equal 9 plus 3a plus b in other ways we have negative 9 is equal to 3a plus b we can call this equation 1 then again at the point where the graph cut the x the y axis x equals zero and y equal six. So we we'll obtain six is equal to x squared zero squared plus a times zero plus b. So that will give us b to be equal to 
6. So if b equal to 6, then we can put this into equation 1 to find the value of a. So we have negative 9 is equal to 3a plus 6. So we have 3a is equal to negative 9 minus 6, which is equal to negative 15. So dividing through by 3, by 3, we get a to be equal to negative 5. So a is negative 5, b is 6. So the equation becomes x squared plus ax. So x squared plus, that is minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So we, are, we want to solve the values of a and b. We want to solve this equation. So the equation we are solving is x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So two values, two factors of 6 that when we add we get negative 5r, negative 2, and negative 3x. So negative 2 and negative 3, when we multiply we get 6, when we add we get negative 5. So we can factor x out and factor 3 out here. So we get x minus 3, x minus 2 equals 0. So either x minus 3 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0, which will give us x equal 3 or x equal 2. So these are the values of x that satisfy this equation given to us.